Welcome back to the big picture here on Big Centre TV. And as I said at the start of the show, delighted to be welcomed by members of the cast and crew of a new adaptation of Wuthering Heights, which is being shot right now in our region. Guys, thank you for joining us. We've got the director and we've got Heathcliff and Cathy. So introduce us to the crew. Who have we got here? Um, I'm Elizabeth Abraham. I'm the director and screenplay writer. Uh, I'm Shay Morris. I'm playing Cathy. I'm Paul Eric Atlas, I'm playing Heathcliff. And, and you are right in the middle of, of shooting now, aren't you? Sort of, when Absolutely. did you start? Uh, we started 7th of February, um, and hopefully we wrap tail end of this year, sort of Christmas time. So, so it's, a long, it's, a, it's, a, it's a seriously long shoot then? It really, is, yeah. It? It's, it's going to be quite a long film. <laughs> <laughs> so we have covered the whole book from beginning to end. Um, we haven't sort of taken chunks of it, we've done the entire story, so uh, it goes on a bit. Because now there have been lots of different adaptations of the Emily Bronte book, haven't there, on film versions, TV miniseries, yeah. I mean one a couple Absolutely. of years ago that was was acclaimed. Yeah. How, re how, how accurate have they been and, and how do you make your production stand out and be something different? None of them have actually covered the whole story. They have covered what they've covered really well um, and there's been some superb acting and great cinematography in them. But nobody, I think we're the first people that have actually covered the entire multi-generational story from beginning to end so if you take it in chunks it makes sense on its own but it makes so much more sense when you see everybody's motivations behind it and why they're doing things and some of those have been missing because it, it's a steamy story actually isn't it really? yeah yeah it's all it's all about possession and control yeah, and it is completely and, and human nature really yeah all the way mm. through i mean kathy and heathcliff's relationship all the way through from start to finish is just oh, it's a roller coaster. I mean, it, it, what's it, the words to say? It's complicated. Is that complicated, complicated, isn't it? That's complicated, the words, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me, yeah, definitely. What, what I mean, I'll t talk to you really, really t together. What's the appeal of this of these roles, you know, to you as as actors? Oh my goodness! Well, I've always loved the book, and to be honest, Catherine Earnshaw is a character that I always looked up to because she she is just so. So in control and and sort of um, yeah, she just she does whatever she likes essentially. Mm. She's the kind of person everyone would love to be. She owns it. Yeah, she owns, she owns it. it. She literally does try and own everyone and control <laughs> everyone. But you're not having any of that, are you? So well, well you sort of technically have to in places, I do. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, you do, I so. do. Sometimes I'm reading through it, like Heathcliff. I really do feel sorry for him sometimes. Mm. Mm. Like, but um, no, with regards to Heathcliff, it's just such an iconic literary character. But also an iconic screen character, isn't it? So you know, when you're presented yeah. with a, a, a role, is it is it is it a challenge and also an opportunity and a threat? I mean, do you, do you find yourself immediately comparing yourself to people that have played the part before? Or but I, well, you try not to, but you, there's always a, a niggling suspicion at the back. Am, am I doing it quite right? But the the dialogue between um, Elsa and, and us, like about the characters, about the motivations and the journeys. Uh, it's been so in depth that I literally feel like he's just an extension of my own personality, which is quite scary actually, because he's not, <laughs> not the nicest of people, to be honest, is he? But, um, he's got many facets, though, to be fair, hasn't of he? Of course. So, so, so. <laughs> we hope so. Now, now, you mentioned that it's not going to be the shortest of movies, no. because it's a very complex and, it and is. dark yeah. book, isn't it? How did you decide how to pitch it when you when you first started making it? I wrote it, and it was. It was a beer moth of a thing, the screenplay, and then I spent the last two years chunking it down into a into a manageable sort of form now. And um, I've been very lucky because the reception's been largely very positive. Um, people really like the idea of a complete version. Uh, so basically, I just said, "There it is. We're going to make it, and uh, we'd like you to help." And most people have gone, "Yeah, that's great." A uh, few people didn't, but most people thought, yeah, that's a good idea, so uh, we went with it. Excellent. Well, we're talking a little bit more detail. Yeah. Well, let, let's have a look at uh, these two in action. Have a look at this.
I wish we could always be here. Why can we not? Something will happen. Sometimes I feel it. What? Are you insensible to it? Do you not feel portents? Ever since father died and that tyrant returned, I feel it. I used to think we should always be here. We will be. There's not an angel in heaven or a demon in hell that can take us from here. You are mine. I'm yours. This is ours. We'll be here forever. And the rocks and the stones and the water that flows in back will bury us here. And we will come to place. And it's us. I need to must go before this. So there you go. So, that's, so where was that filmed? Where was that barn scene filmed? And um, that was Acton Scott, wasn't it? Acton Scott, yeah. Victorian working farm. Oh, in Shropshire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. A lovely place. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, and they're so friendly. <laughs> so such friendly people. And the oh, the animals there. I mean, we, we just had an absolute blast, didn't we? Yeah. You got to play with shy horses. horses and shy horses and are and enormous. <laughs> Horses are enormous, I didn't quite realise just how enormous horses were. Because it's quite a challenge, isn't it, when you're putting a period yeah. story together, it can become really costly to make it as authentic as you want it to be, can't it? So. It's enormously costly. Um, we've been terribly fortunate with people being very givish with their locations. We've had Acton Scott, which is you know very period specific, but also the Fleece at Bretforton and the Cardinal's Hat in Worcester, two pubs that are absolutely amazingly period accurate. I mean, well worth visit if anybody ever fancies going somewhere really interesting. They have given us um, access to their locations and made it made filming very very easy for us to be absolutely honest and then we have KC Carriages uh, who are actually uh, a horse rescue and they've provided a funeral buyer for Catherine's funeral, a horse drawn Georgian funeral buyer, perfectly period specific and also as many horses and carriages as we need for the shoot um, for donations towards their horse rescue so they're brilliant and they're local Hereford people too so yeah, it's, it's terrific it's been marvelous. because actually the, 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 the landscape of the Midlands yeah. It's perfect as well. I mean, there's such diversity there. Isn't there? I know you guys were telling me just before we started shooting about a, a day in the sub-zero temperatures at the top of Clee Hill. Oh, it was so cool. <laughs> Tell me about that one then. Goodness. It was an early shoot, wasn't it? It was. Early shoot. So that didn't help? 4 a.m. Was it? Yes. And it was driving winds, sleet. You, you couldn't see 30 feet ahead oh. of you. Um, and it was fairly chilly. I was quite lucky in the sense that under my costume I could wear thermals. <laughs> but poor. No, poor no. I, I not a chance. with a corset. Yeah, corset and skirt, corset. and of course that got soaked through mm. with freezing cold uh, rain very to, quickly. I have to say, I don't think they'd be getting very, um, very intimate on the moors, to be honest. I don't not, think not anyone in, that, in their right not, mind not in, in those conditions weather. really would. But then again, yeah. half the time they're not in the right mind, are they? But, no, I suppose not. But it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful place. Well, I mean, I know, I know it. You know, all the brackens up there as well. It's yep. very. Yeah. You could imagine that it really is a perfect match for the. Uh, yeah. The Yorkshire Moors, so, couldn't you? Yeah. There, All so. the border counties have been absolutely ideal, even over to Brinksty Common, places like that. You know, it's it's been it's been very easy to film and to replicate. Um, and much as we'd love to shoot in Yorkshire, we may shoot small parts in Yorkshire, mm. but um, financially we're not. It's constrained us really the fact that we are a low budget film that we can't sort of troll off sort of a couple hundred miles every day to film. Mm. It's it's not a feasible thing. So, but the, but the reason that you've ended up shooting largely in the Midlands is because you are you are Midlands based. Aren't I you? am. So yes. What, what's um, your background then? Um, I went to RADA originally, and um, I've, I've done various things from acting all the way through to screenplay writing and, and direction. Um, and so, um, it seemed a natural extension to use what I already know, um, which is the local area. And I know that the local population are always behind anything that they feel will benefit the local community. And we've tried to make sure that happens um, in that we've used local suppliers for everything. Mm. All the caterers are local. Um, costume design has been done in part by Shayori, but also the seamstresses are local. Um, we've used people that have 
local haberdasher shops, um, it would have been much cheaper to order costumes from abroad to spec um, rather than use local people. But we did decide to go that route because we felt that if we don't put something in, we have absolutely no right to expect anybody mm. to give anything back. And everybody has been so, so willing to do that so far that we felt morally it was the right thing to do. So Excellent. So, so not only are you one of the leading actresses, you're also a costume designer as well? Um, yeah, yeah, for, for a few of the more flamboyant costumes, definitely. Is that a real particular interest of yours then? Is that something you've done um, before? It is. It's something I started when I was quite young, so I was about 10. And yeah, costume design, um, making costumes, everything. It's just, I find I find making beautiful things enjoyable. And so what's your acting background then prior to this? Um, well, my mother also went to RADA, and um, it's something I just started doing naturally, just because everyone in my family did it. It's like I have acting brothers and poets and songwriters yeah it's just it's something that happened very naturally so is it is it in your blood then or is it or just pressure man <laughs> no, 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 no. it's something i've always been very comfortable with because it's always it's been around my entire life so yeah have you done anything particularly like this have you done any other uh, period oh, drama periods. like this um not for screen um mostly theatre to be honest any periods um a lot of shakespeare mm. actually i haven't done any shakespeare this year i'm really missing it actually doing a bit of theatre Spending too much time freezing to death on top of the <laughs> yeah. hill, that's why. Yeah. And, and what about you prior to Heathcliff then? What, uh, prior to Heathcliff? Um, uh, again, this is, this, well, this is my first film, mm. actually. So even, even in the case of the audition process, the fact that there's a camera in the corner kind of freaked me out. That was something to get used to. Um, no, I trained in musical theatre mm. up in Scotland, um, and I've, I've done theatre and musicals ma mainly. Um, so this is quite exciting. I've done a, a few period plays, but uh, no, this is my... The first period film. Excellent. Doing so well. Variety, though, presumably is part of the appeal to to the job. So you you'd want to balance maybe some stage, some screen. You'd want to do some musical, some drama. Yeah. Some is that is that part of the appeal or a determination to try and make sure you're not typecast at an early stage into just doing one sort of role or another? Is that? I think I think it's very enjoyable to play very varied roles because you see every aspect of people and people are just so varied. It's, mm. it's really something that's definitely enjoyable. I guess it's pretty important as well, though, in a story like this, for you, you your leading man, your leading lady, to get on. Which uh, sounds, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's remarkable. The casting process. Was you know, I asked you. I didn't ask them. But I thought, let's yeah. start with you first. They, they get let's on. Start with you first, just yeah. in case. Um, no, the casting process was really arduous, actually, because we weren't just looking for people who looked right and who could act. They had to have a really intense chemistry together and you know it's, it's because there's a lot of pushing and shoving there, there are sex scenes there's violence there's all sorts of of things you know in this particular version mm. that actually weren't in the original novel mainly because of social constraints it's obvious that it's bubbling under the surface all the way through the subtext mm. but we've decided to let that bubble up to the surface because it, it's, it's a far more realistic version I think do you, do you sort of have to do that don't you because you're making it in the mm. 21st century it yeah, would look exactly. ridiculous to have, yeah, um, like the elephant in the room that you know that you, yeah, if, you, if why not show if it? there's too many ladies hiding behind fans saying gosh you know it does it does <laughs> feel a little get a little unrealistic because people don't change people have always lusted and loved and hated and you know people then were no different than we are now and what we want to do is bring that forward and let everybody sort of have a really good look at who they really were as characters so yeah but the audition process was was crazy we had 150 plus people to see for each of the main roles um we whittled those down to various lists and ended up with about 12 of each uh, for the finals and then um the two that stood out that that hit it off best as I felt they would that really sat there and said to me that's Cathy and Heathcliff with these two. I was sort of hoping you were going to say that then. I yeah, no, absolutely. Was the guy who wouldn't do it? They weren't available. Yeah. So no. Yeah. Yeah. no, that they actually they pulled each other's hair in the auditions because we had people yeah. bouncing off each other. We had that. them. <laughs> I do remember my arm getting hurt. So, I apologise. So, yeah. They, uh, <laughs> do, you know, when, 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 you, when you're signing up for a production like this or when you're auditioning, do you know straight away that there's maybe a chemistry between two of you that it's going to work, that you're going to get on? Or how does it? How I does think it? so. I think when, if you get on as people as well, it's much easier to act against each other. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You, yeah, I mean, in the first scene, you can just sort of tell because if people move the way you want them to and, mm -hmm. yeah, just good responses, I think. Yeah. Shayori was in my audition, she was reading opposite me, and there was a fair few scenes that we were doing as well. Mm. Yeah. And um, I just felt so comfortable with you. 
mm. which was really nice really nice and it was very really obvious as well yeah. it was mm. it was a notable thing that you know there was this chemistry there was this crackling going on while they were together and and mm. we thought yeah absolutely I think it's quite good as well because they grew up together, Cathy and Heathcliff. So there's also kind of a sort of brother and sister relationship going on as well. Yeah. So there's no sort of fisticuffs. It's like very yeah. complex, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's so, so tangled and. Yeah. So, so you know, the, if you talk about we're getting the warts and all version of it. So yeah. there's love, there's hate, there's horror, there's jealousy, there's yeah. ghosts. That's very 18 certificate. That sounds to me. Yes, we've got actually. We were painfully aware of this. I looked at the screenplay and I thought I don't want to preclude children from being able to see this version. So what we have done, although there's sex and violence, we've got two distinct cuts of the film where we remove the sex and violence scenes and replace them with other scenes that we've shot, so that the both versions are absolutely seamless. If you saw one, it would make perfect sense. If you see the other, it will also make perfect sense. So there's one for the grown-ups and there's one for the kids or people who don't who don't have that to their taste. So that's even more shooting, isn't it? It is, yes. Do, do, do you come under pressure from things like um, the, the Bronte Society when you're doing things like this? Do Bronte they, Society have been marvellous. To... They have been so supportive. Um, we've had nothing but nice things uh, said to us and about us from them. You know, we, we have got some considerable support from them and they've been wonderful and very, very helpful indeed. Excellent. So, so, so when will it be out and what's the plan for, for distribution? Are you taking it to festivals? Yes, it's going to all the big festivals next year. We're finishing, as I said, tail end of this year. Um, it'll go into post then and then off to next year's festivals with luck. And uh, depending how well it does at the festivals will depend whether it goes uh, for a, a proper release or whether or not it goes to Netflix and DVD and how we, how we pursue it from there. But yeah. You'll Excellent. be able to see it. Well, good luck with the filming. I hope the weather improves and you don't have any more sub-zero <laughs> shoots on the top of a mountain anywhere, yeah. for everyone's sake. Thank you. Uh, it's that atmosphere, though. It does. Mm. It does. Yeah, I wouldn't have it, it any other way, to be honest. <laughs> I don't believe you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks so much Thanks. for coming in. Uh, time has almost got the better of us today. I'm hoping that these uh, guys will come in and see us when we get a bit nearer to the end of shooting, or maybe when we're about to hit the festival circuit.